Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Let's pray. O oh God, make haste to help us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now, as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom where songs of praise for ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Arise, O Lord, into your safe resting place. Jesus, Son of David, make us a priestly people. Clothe us in righteousness, make us fruitful, and give us hearts to shout for joy in your Saviour salvation. We pray in the power of the Spirit. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Matthew chapter 10, beginning at verse 34 and going on to chapter 11, verse 1. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life, for my sake, will find it. Whoever welcomes you and welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person, will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly, I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. Now when Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and proclaim his message in their cities. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. And afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for today. We ask you to bless the good things and take away the bad things. We ask you to be with those who have str struggled with today and those who 
who have suffered not being able to work today. Give them their, give, the, give all people your peace. And for those who are struggling and in need, pour out your blessings. Lord, in your mercy, we hear our prayer. Empower the saints on earth, that we may live as citizens of heaven wherever we are. And that all people may hear and believe in the word of the God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who fear the winter months, for the long dark nights, for the cold days, for being at home and unable to go out, who fear illness and all things that go, go right in the winter. Be with them, Lord. Encourage those of us who are able to phone them, to visit them, or to otherwise relieve their fear. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all sovereigns and political leaders, that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ and put the needs of others before their own, so that all may live quietly and prosperously in your light. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And let's pray for those who grieve and all who wait with the dying. Put your arms of love around them, Lord. Be with them at this time. Bless those who come alongside them and wait with them and come alongside them and grieve with them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night. God bless and sleep well. Good night.